What's up, guys? So, want to bring to you, in case you're not familiar with it, a really good Kydex company. You know, there's a couple that I like. Um, this is one who's definitely high on my list. Um, just do great work. I will put a link in the description box. Hopefully it doesn't make uh, YouTube spaz out. But go check out Burly Man Tactical when you get a chance. Um, quick down and dirty. He's probably got the largest selection of guns to make holsters for that I've seen at a Kydex company, especially a, a, a smaller one. I think he told me he's got, and don't hold me to this, but I think he's got something like over 200 gun molds. It's, it's something crazy. There's probably not too many mainstream guns that you could want a holster for that you didn't have a mold for. <clears throat> so all kind of different configurations that he can do inside the waistband, outside the waistband, um, appendix, just depends on what you want. Um, I think he's even open to doing some custom work, as, as I'll show you. And there's another cool feature that he's got in that he can take one of his holsters or one of yours and much as he did with my Safari Land uh, ALS, he can wrap it in your favorite camo pattern. Now, this is Atax IX, which is my, my favorite preferred go-to pattern. And this is my Safari Land ALS holster. The way he does this is using 500D Cordura and laminates it on there. Now, the cool thing about having the Cordura on there is number one, it helps quiet the Kydex down a little bit so it's not quite as noisy as something rubs up against it. Doesn't make it obviously 100% quiet because it is still a hard item. But it does quiet it. The other thing it does though is it reduces the shine and sheen that you get from regular Kydex and being IR compliant Cordura, it has an IR uh, capability to it. So if that's something that's important to you, there you go. Um, I'm gonna be running this for a while and, and see how it holds up. Just a word of caution, when you laminate an existing holster like this versus whenever he's making it from scratch, sometimes you can't get the, the material into every little nook and cranny as tightly as he can from scratch. However, I think it still works out and looks great to me. Um, it's, it's definitely on point and will serve my utilitarian purposes. It's not a showpiece for me, you know, as know that. So <clears throat> for me, it's going to get used, it's going to get drug through the woods, et cetera, et cetera. So, a couple of things I had him do just to check out his actual Kydex capability. This is an outside the waistband holster that he did for me for obviously my beloved Glock 19s. And you can see there, um, this one doesn't have any retention other than just friction, but you can adjust the retention right here. But you'll notice it's completely clear. I can get a perfect firing grip on the gun without any interference from the Kydex at all, right? And you've got good retention. You can obviously adjust it right here. But the fit is just really good. Um, I opted to go with the Safari Lane UBL just because it works with my belt rigs that I run. But there you go. <clears throat> what else is, oh, the attachments, the UBL, duh. So for attachments, he can do just about 
if I remember, any bolt pattern that you want. So Safari Land, um, G Code, um, and pretty much any of the other offerings, he can do the, the, the bolt pattern for to, to attach different uh, mounting options for the outside the waistman versions. He even did a left handed UBL drop for my wife's MP uh, 380 Easy. So now she's got a nice outside the waistband holster that she can wear on her belt uh, up at the property when we're doing stuff that is comfortable and works for her. And you'll notice it's got a little bit of a offset to it because being a lady, she's got girl hips, not straight guy hips. So this lets it offset a little bit for, accounts for that little bit of curvature. It's not digging into her ribs just makes it more comfortable all the way around and accommodates her being a lefty. The other thing I like is you'll notice, okay, when you're looking straight on, notice how the front curves around right here. I like that little added touch versus just coming straight out. That way it's just less prone to hitting and, and snagging and catching on things. It's got a little more of a rounded profile to it. Um, you can see it as well on on mine so the gun straight you see how it curves around it just lets you bump into things and it just kind of push around it instead of catching cool touch another thing he did was he even made a sheath for my wife's uh, camp knife very cool it's easy in and out good retention it's got a tech lock on it so she can put that on her belt when we're out in the woods in the uh, zombie apocalypse and do her thing. Obviously also ATAX IX. Um, so I'm going to have him do some more knife sheaths for me for some of my favorite go-to knives. When I get that done, I'll bring that to you. Um, I really like <clears throat> really like what he's got going on here. So, go check it out, guys. Burly Man Tactical. Again, I'll put a link in the description box. If YouTube has a fit, then I'll just put a link to the blog site and I'll have it up on the blog. But go check them out. They've also got all the typical uh, social media stuff, Instagram, Facebook, etc., etc. And, uh, yeah. One of a couple, and I don't have a lot, they're one of a couple of uh, Kydex makers that I, I highly recommend. So you guys take care, stay safe, and I'll see you in another one.